Hey there, Chad. My name is Marcy. You dropped the link to your business here in my Facebook post at the beginning of the week. So here I am recording your video and I had a chance to kind of take a quick look and see where things are at. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, give you some comparisons with your competitors here and kind of show you three things that you could, you know, start doing today and they're going to help to bring, um, bring you in front of more of your potential customers. So, um, probably the most, the three things I'm going to go over are content, citations, and backlinks. And on your homepage here, Google likes to see in between, you know, anywhere from a thousand to two thousand words of content, right? And, um, it's probably not something that your customers, potential customers would ever sit and read, but it's the only way that have, you know, when you type something, your customers type something into the browser, then Google has to go out and, you know, crawl the internet and they want to find, you know, the closest business, they work on location and the most relevant, right? So when you have that much content, then that tells them what it is you do, what you are an expert at, that you know what you're talking about, right? If they can't find any information, then they don't, you know, this is, this is it for your content word wise on your, on your homepage. Now pictures. Okay. Well, at least we have this, but I mean, kitchens could mean a lot of things, right? You'd want to have kitchen renovation that that's how it, that's how it was saved because it's, you know, a missed opportunity. If it's not fully, you got to think like, what, what are people going to be typing in there? But you know, nice to see most people when I click on it like that, it's, uh, it's just numbers and letters and stuff. Okay. So now that one, we could, we can improve upon that one. Um, but that, that's what I mean by content, a way for Google to identify, Hey, that's what this guy has. That's what this guy has to offer. So there again, I mean, they know just from your listing, from your URL, what that is, I would probably go to more, more towards the keywords as, as listing those. So that's content you want. You, I mean, the nice thing about nobody really doing much is, is it's typically very easily be, you know, beatable, go out and do all these three things more and better than your competitors. And it's a matter of time, you're going to be outranking them. So the next thing that carries a lot of weight in helping you to rank is backlinks. So to keep it simple, what a backlink is, is it's a link from a third party site coming into your site. The internet's like a big popularity contest. So when other sites vote for you, okay, AKA give you a link back to your site that in turn moves your site up through the search engines. Now, when I say that not all links are created equal, you can't go out and just get a whole ton of spammy links. And obviously that's going to be detrimental to your rankings. You know, they need to be coming from reputable sites, sites that Google has trust in, um, you know, authoritative sites relevant to what it is that you do. So in saying that, you know, if you had a link from pizza hut, it's not going to mean that much because you don't deliver pizzas. So that kind of thing, there's a whole strategy that's involved with doing that. So when I put you in this tool, it shows me that you have seven other websites on the internet that are referring back to you, giving you 50 backlinks. You're being found for 24 words. So let's see what those words are. Awesome. You know, these are the type of words that you definitely want to be found for. So good, good. Um, it's showing like, so when it says 13th position, so organically you're going to be like on the second page where people, but you know, the more work that you put this in the backlinks to it, then it's going to push you up for this type of thing further up in the rankings. So you got nothing that you're ranking on, on page one for, but I took a comparison. So this guy here, he is ranking on page one. You can see, I mean, he's been around longer, so that's going to have, have something, but it, that can be beat, right? But, you know, the amount of power that you put at things, it can be beat, but you can see just how, how just for the homepage alone, he has more content, but he still doesn't have any, you know, 1500 words content. So he can definitely be beat on that count. Then I took him and put him into the same tool. You can see that he's got 60 referring domains, giving him 289 backlinks and always keep in mind, not created equal. It's not to say that you'd have to go out and necessarily get 60 or more. They just need to be more powerful, more relevant. Um, and then we look at how he's doing here. So just more. 
right? Optimizing, like you could have pages uh, in here. Let's see what kind of, yeah, exactly. But you just, you know, like on back pages, they'd like to see probably anywhere from 500 to 1,000. It's, it's the more content on there, that's they're seeing you as the expert in your, um, yeah, it's just that over again. So again, missed opportunity because what we want to do if you do the research on this is we're going to be naming those pictures all these type of things, right? What we know that searchers are actually typing into the into the browser, then we're going to we're going to put in in weave it in throughout your content. You want you know well written. I myself couldn't write content to save my life, and that's why there's people out there that love to write, and you know they I hire them to do these things. So you know I, I do the research. Go these are the words I want in there because you don't want to keyword stuff. Google's not stupid; they can tell when you're just trying to like say it over and over and over again. So it needs to be well written, authoritative, unique content, and and it and it wins. I guess in our industry, con we that's we, how we label it: content is king because it is. As you can see, it shows these guys for this particular search term, they're on page one. For that search term, they're on page one. So that's that's kind of how this all works. Um, and I did check and see you do have, like I did a search in the area, set my browser for Langley, I believe I did. Yeah, so for Langley, and I noticed you're in a few service areas, but when I put in just basic home renovation, because you know, you want to come up for kitchen renovation, bathroom renovation, you want to be coming up um showing up in the top spaces for I mean, that that's a good optimized site right and um being in here we call this the map pack it's definitely where you want to be probably 50 to 70 percent of the clicks the lion's share definitely the businesses go into these these businesses that get themselves up in here now what contributes to being up here I mean, it's, it's, it's everything, but a big, uh, you know, probably number one that's contributing to get you up here is something called citations. Now, this itself is a citation. Anywhere that you're going to find your name, address, and phone number on the internet is a citation. It's being cited there. So the more citations that you have, if I was to put this into um, a citation finder, you would probably find, you know, 99 times out of 100. It shows me top businesses. Usually it gives me about 8 or 10, and these three are always in there. So that way you can, you know, you can find out where they've cited their business and you just get your, you know, their services, citation services, but you just get more citations, you know, more content, more citations, more powerful backlinks. And that is how you outrank your, outrank your competitors. So, and one last thing did I Awesome. I put it into just this. It shows me what your load speed is and you're doing fine as far as that goes. So I hope that has helped you out, Chad, and to understand how all this stuff works. Um, I will email this off to you, and my contact information is in there. So if you had any questions or I wasn't clear about something, please feel free to reach back up. Happy to help you out and answer any questions you may have. Take care. Hope you're enjoying your weekend.